Hello, hello again, everybody. So I read a couple of messages about creating a full uh, new, the tutorial for the new retargeting. And all right, by any by any means, this is going to be like a full review. This is going to be more of a, what I have discovered so far. But I guess, you know, it may be enough, you know, to give you a good guide to follow when you're going to start experimenting with retargeting. Keep in mind that when Unreal Engine comes out, finally, we are going to have full documentation and maybe, you know, a couple of videos on how all these new tools work. So don't despair. Everything is going to be fine. Now, that being said, let's try to do the next thing. This is the Control Brick Mannequin, and I have a couple of animations from the MCO mockup pack and the NPC mockup pack that are free in the marketplace that you can get them Right now, there are very good animations. So, you know, take advantage of them. They're all mock-up and they're very good. And we're going to try to get them from the Control Brick Mannequin to the Paragon Bellica character, all right? And, you know, without with all that that implies, you know, that they have different proportions, different sizes and stuff and stuff. So let's see how it goes. So the first thing that we are going to need is an IK rig. And the IK rig is tied up to an skeletal mesh. And that is because you can have different skeletal mesh attached to the same skeleton with different proportions. That's why it really needs the proportion that you are going to use as a target, all right? This is different from the original way of doing retargeting. So yeah, keep that in mind. So this is going to be for this Bellica. In the case of Bellica, it's not an issue just because, you know, all Bellica characters with all their skins have the same size and proportion. So you're not going to have any issues there. They're going to be shared between all the skins. So this is going to be the Bellica IK Rick. I'm going to save this. And we're going to do the same thing for the Control Rick. We're going to choose the male that is right here. And this one is going to be the control IK Rick. And also we are going to need the IK targeter, retargeter. And it asks you for a fix. This is going to be a fixed thing. So you need to, you know, take into account uh, the, the source of all the animations is going to be fixed for the retargeter. So I'm going to check the control rig IK character. So this one right here, I mean, this one right here. And now I can save this and I can come in. And now as you see, the source is gray out. You cannot change it. So all this work is going to be only for, you know, um, this control rig right here, all right, for this character. So now we can take the source, I mean, the target. And that one is going to be the Velika IK brick, and now they're side to side, and we can start working with them. For that, we're going to have to open the Control Brick IK Rick and the Bellica IK Rick. Right? So let's do let's let's begin with uh, our process. So first thing first, we need to do the retarget root. All right, and in this case, don't be fooled. It is not going to be the root. The root in Unreal Engine is like an extra bone. Like it doesn't really drive the root animation. The root animation it's on the pelvis, so this is the one that you that you should choose. And to make it here, so it is detected as the retarget root. You need to right click and uh, set retarget root. That's it. You can save. You can do the same thing on Delica pelvis. Right click, set retarget root, and save. And now if you go to the new IK retargeter and you choose any animation, you're going to see that it start working. So now the pelvis is, is being rerouted in the animation, retargeted, and it's working. So now let's let's create our chains, all right? So this is the way I do the change. The chains and that is, you know, taking spine one to spine three and creating a chain, clavicle to hand, another chain and clavicle to hand, another chain and uh, neck to head, another chain, thigh, calf, 
we skip the twist, foot on ball. That's it. Now big thigh calf, foot on ball. And that's it, all right? So we are clear with this guy right here. We don't need to do anything else to him. This is all we need from the contour break character. So now I'm going to bring in our Bellica character and this one, we're going to do exactly the same for now. So spine one to three, we create this chain and now from clavicle to hand and that's it. And now clavicle to hand and that's it. We need neck one to head. No, it has one more bone there, but it doesn't matter because it starts with the same neck one, it has the same name here. So it's going to be out of connecting on the other side. Finally, we need the thigh, the calf, we skip the twist and we create a change for a chain for this and thigh, calf, foot and ball for the other foot. And that's it, All right? Okay, so with this already here, we are going to have, if we come, if we go back to the retargeter and we auto map, we're going to have what we used to have with the normal uh, retargeter, you know, with the original retargeter from Unreal. It is good, but it could be better. And this is why they are using this new um, retargeter. So to make this better, so you can see here, if I turn on or off this retargeter, IK, you know, there's nothing happening here. That's that's because we don't have a solver. But if we turn off, you know, the FK, you can see, you know, we have only the root. So it's like a tree, like a three way process, right? We need the root, we need the FK, and now we need to refine it with the IK, all right? So let's go about and create those uh, that solver, all right? So first of all, we are going to create a new solver that is going to be a full body IK. And now it says that it needs a root bone. In this case, we are going to sign the root, all right? Trust me, this is good. So to select it, you select the solver, you right click on the root and you set root bone on selected solver. Now it says that it's missing the goals, all right? So in terms of the goals, I'm going to create one for each hand. So one here. And because I have the solver selected, it is auto um, assigning it. One for the other hand. That's good. And now we are going to need one for each ball of the foot. So one for this foot right here and one for this other foot all right now i think we can start testing i don't think we need the pelvis one i'm going to try without the pelvis one and see how it goes so here it is now that we have our goals we need to assign them all right so we have a couple here like the spine and the and the neck that we are not going to assign one but we're going to send one for each hand. So this hand and this hand and one for this foot and one for the right foot, right? Now that there are a sign here and we save, we should go back. And as you see, it's it does a little bit of work, right? It, it takes things right where they should or at least closer, but there's still this drifting, right? So to get rid of this drifting, all you need to do is go, for example, to the thigh chain, right? This is for this leg, and you're going to the IK adjustment, and you're going to blend this source. And that's the magic trick. Now this guy is right there, all right? We're going to do the same with this chain, and now if we select nothing, we can go, go back here and see the difference. So this is with the retarget IK. This is without the retarget IK. So now we have a foot without any, any drifting. And you can do the same thing with the hands if you want this to be a one-to-one -one comparison here. So let's try that. So here goes my advice. 
this is cool. This is working, but still it's it's going to be like a per animation uh, decision what you want to have, you know, the you're going to see what I mean by, by that by this in a couple of seconds, but yeah, you must take into account when you're going to need the IK or when you're not going to need it. Because remember, IK is going to solve you the contacts, all right? But sometimes you don't have contacts in the hands. In this case, I do. For example, in this hand, I should have a good contact like this guy right here. So I'm going to choose to select the clavicle and do the same thing. And now I have, you know, you see, now the hands are pulling down the chest and, and the spine because it's a full IK. And as you see, if you have like a little bit of, of you know, separation, it's going to be on the, on the heel, but everything looks the best. And if now we take this, nope, to zero, you can see that everything that is IK is fixed to the original animation. So you really don't need too much the 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 pose. You can go about and, and you know if you want to fix a little bit the el the shoulders and the elbows, you can play a little bit with the with the pose because clearly they are not you know uh, completely the same. So you can come back here lower you know the the draw of the bones and you can grab this and you can move it a little bit up so they are parallel. And the same with this one, eyeballing it, it's going to be enough in this case, I, I bet. And that's it. Now you can release this and you can see that you may have a little bit better action on the on the shoulder and, you know, the, the, the elbow. So I'm going to set again this separation because I want you to check another thing. So let's check more animations. So body stretch. Now you see we have an issue here. And that is because when this much, you know, um, taller character get his hands pulled down until you get to the level of this one, we are going to have issues, all right? So in this case, we might not want to have the clavicle, you know, pulling down on the hand, all right? Now it should work a lot better. So now if, if we play this and we select, you know, with the IK and without the IK, you know, the feet are in place, but, you know, the um, the arms are great, are better, right? And if you want it to be completely separate from the IK, you can either, you know, go inside the clavicle and select not to drive the goal, of the IK and now it should be exactly as having it without the IK control, right? So you can pick and choose. The good thing is that you can go here and export your animation in you know a, a case by case scenario. What does what does good? What what is you know being uh, not that good? So I want you to you know see the next thing. So I turn off the IK from the hands. That's good. Now let's try this fits with a root motion walking and prepare for so this is a non oh all right it's good so i was having a couple of errors before oh maybe because i i did had a pelvis um goal and in this case i you know didn't apply so in this case you see we have we should have a good contact in the fits and because we are not driving the pelvis, you know, with IK, we are not having that issue. So I was, I had like a pelvis IK that was making other type of animations like seating and stuff better. But, you know, for walking was a complete disaster just because, you know, this pelvis was trying to be at this point, but this guy, this uh, girl is, is so tall that she needs to go further with each step. So each step is, you know, really without a drift in the, because of the longer legs. But as you see, you know, it's it's a lot of a, of a case by case. I think that this is, this is one of those scenarios where I told you that you may need like a pelvis because she looks, if you need her to be seated at the same 
height of chair of this guy, you are going to have to come here, you know, go to the pelvis, create an IK goal with the uh, solver selected. Now you can save, and if you come here and um, yeah, so you turn on the IK. So I didn't have the IK for the walks, so that's maybe when I saw that error. Oh yeah, 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 this is the thing. So for these kind of animations, you don't want you know to have the IK turn on, all right? For things like being standing and doing you know uh, like I don't know, kid are playing, all right? For this kind of animation, it's great, all right? Uh, ha a happy hand gesture. So for this animation is great to have you know the feet really you know pinpointed in in the floor all right again i have it off oh wait sorry let me get rid of this yeah this should be good all right now we're good yeah now you see we have pinpoint feet on the floor um on you know anything that is you know in place but if you're going to move around i bet let me get this animation. No, this, all right, yeah, this animation should do. As you see, yeah, we have a big issue with the fits. So you can do two things. You can turn off the IK for, for this animation because you do have like a very good contact either way. And you can then export this animation as it is. And for things where, you know, she is uh, standing there and you want, to have those feet really planted without you know these issues that we're seeing here. So like a little bit of drifting. Yeah, that, that feet is coming down and up. You can turn on you know the IK and that should take care of that. All right. So all right, so now you know why this new retargeter is called the IK retargeter. So now you have to retarget the root, the FK. And later you can decide what should have an IK or not. All right. Let me just, you know, set the hands. Now they should be at the same height of the, uh, as this guy. So hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to keep, you know, investigating. And if I get, you know, new info, new issues, I'm going to keep informing them to you. So, you know, be good. Love you all. Bye-bye.